So who truly makes the best OBD2 dongle for the money? I'm gonna run through all 13 of these. We'll look at the apps, see what they can and can't do, and see if one of these is truly better than the rest. VPeak and ELM327. Now both of these use the same free app for iOS, that is Car Scanner. The first time you open it though, one thing to point out is you need to go to the settings here, adapter, change this to Bluetooth, LE, and then select a device. So with these two dongles, you have a basic scan tool here with this car scanner app. Dashboard is just that overview of RPM, coolant temp, miles per hour. This can be customized. So you can add any diagnostic values you want to see here. Again, you can add pages, add sensors, pretty much customize it how you want. So live data, you have four separate pages. Click up here at the top here, we have OBD voltages. If we click on that, we can select other data if we want to monitor. And you can pause and play. Then you have all sensors, diagnostic trouble codes. So you're gonna select what you want to look for. You can deselect or select all at the top here. We can deselect, select all, then hit read. And here you can see the stored code for the oxygen sensor that I unplugged. Freeze frame. Monitors. So the app itself is free, but some of the features like this, you'd have to upgrade to the Pro, which of course costs money. You can add your cars to my cars. Settings again. Statistics. So of course, if you left this plugged in and drive, here you can get your miles per hour average, fuel usage, stuff like that. ECU identifiers. So some basic information here from the engine controller. Data recording. This is where you will find those saved files and emissions tests. So Black Tech and Zurich here, we've got three options. 410 is the base unit, while the 430 has the same features as the Zurich. So with all three of those, we're going to use the Repair Solutions 2 app. Go ahead and pair with the tool. So now with the 410 here, it's going to be just like the ELM 327 and the VPeak. Just a basic powertrain scan tool so we can scan the engine. And it's showing us one engine code for that O2 sensor that's unplugged. For more information on that, you can get the freeze frame data. You can go to monitoring here. Of course, this is all the stuff it's checked for. At the bottom, we do have live data. So you can select some things you want to read. Pretty straightforward. If you go back home, you can erase codes. Again, you can look at that live data. And you can do a charging system test. So you can test the battery and, of course, test the alternator. But that's going to be it. Very basic. Again, just focusing on the powertrain. Now the 430 and the Zurich here are the same. So we'll go ahead and put the Zurich in. Now, as you can see, we have a lot more options versus the 410. You can do whole system. And now with that whole system scan, you can see we have 14 codes found. So ABS, body controller, again, that powertrain. You can see the systems that actually passed. Go back home. Here we have read codes. So if you just wanted to select a certain controller, it's a lot quicker than a whole system test. Race codes, live data, emissions monitors. Same area as we were before with the 410, but again, the 410, we had to run the test to get into here, whereas here on the home page, we can go straight into there. Service checks, service functions. So we can reset that maintenance light battery reset procedure, reset battery monitoring system, battery test, alternator test, and TPMS relearn. Definitely a good amount more here versus the 410. Blue driver. Go ahead here and use the blue driver app. So we can read codes. So we have our pending O2 sensor code, body module code, and the ABS code. 
Air code, say reports, freeze frame, smog check. Again, this is that system test. So we'll just scan. Mode six here, which is raw data. Check engine light status, vehicle information, and then service. Under service, we have oil reset, DPMS reset, and battery light reset. So yeah, overall kind of a basic tool, but you do gain the ability to read the rest of the modules. OBD link, I have the CX and MX plus. So the basic CX will open OBD link. Pretty simple settings, diagnostics, dashboards, map, monitor, logs, and performance. So diagnostics. So we have that O2 sensor code, and that's it. So only powertrain codes with the CX. Dashboard, pretty straightforward where you can look at live data here. You can select different gauges. So map is just a map. Monitors. So just a self check like the others. Logs. So basically like live data, we can hit menu. And we can select different sensors. So and hit play. Go to files, there's that log. Nothing out of the ordinary. And if we go to performance, very similar to the dashboard here where it's trying to give you RPMs and well, zero to 60 here. Advancer, we have Advancer 8020 and Advancer 8020 Pro. So we'll open Advancer. So it's gonna just do this system check. We select fault details. Yeah, so we're only reading the code for the O2 sensor. And here we can clear or we can go to the freeze frame for this code. So trouble scanning, gonna basically do the same thing. In-depth check. Again, this is just checking the powertrain. Mill status, live data. So some common readings, and then you can check more sensors. So whatever you wanna add here. If we hit application center in the center, you can see we have additional functions. So we need to do full function, trouble scanning again, in-depth check, live data, smog check. That's just gonna be that quick little system check. Mode six, component test, carbon buildup, basic test, fuel correction, control system test, and mass airflow sensor test. So if we go to OBD2 full function, auto scan, here we have all the modes, but again, this is only powertrain. Now the pro version, we'll do trouble scanning. Check now. Here we just show one fault, which is the O2 sensor. Now if we hit in-depth check, so it's gonna check powertrain and the other modules in the vehicle. Now you see a lot more than just one fault. We have 14 faults. So all stored trouble codes here. So if we go to application center, pretty much the same stuff here. If we go to component tests, same thing. So basically the difference between the 8020 and the 8020 Pro, Pro will read all the controllers versus the standard 8020, you're only gonna get powertrain. Fixed and Carista, very similar looking here. Apps are almost identical as well, but they are different apps. So we'll get into that. Tap to scan, and you can see here additional codes other than just powertrain. Other than that, you go back out. You can do emissions check if you want to pay for the premium. Live data, so you can add gauges in here. Select data. So your 60 meter trip mode. Look at speed and fuel level, stuff like that. Yeah, this one's really basic here. So if we select Carista, go ahead and connect. So we'll diagnose. And here we actually only show one fault. So this is just reading powertrain. You go to service, emissions test, again, just a quick system check, live data. Extremely basic, even more basic than 
the fixed. Again, the fixed will do more than just powertrain. Here, it will only pull powertrain codes. So here we have the top scan, open the top Guru app. We'll diagnose. Here we can auto scan, we click that. Scan all modules. So here's a list of modules with faults. And then you can go into each one. So we'll select body control. So you can have ECU information. Again, you can read the DTCs, clear DTCs, look at the data stream or do active tests. So we'll select active tests. But this is where this tool is definitely above the rest. So all these here are active tests we can do. Left headlamp high beam. If we click on this, cancel there. And then if we go ahead and hit active, you can see we turn the headlight on. So some pretty cool stuff. You know, it depends on what controller you're in. If you go to powertrain, active tests. You can do all sorts of stuff. Like run the fuel pump. You gotta hear that running there. Disable injectors, so you can do a lot with this tool. If we go back to the main menu here, and then we go to the emissions readiness, if we click on that, you can do check DTC sense cleared code or this driving cycle. We'll hit this driving cycle, and you can see, yeah, we failed. This is those simple checks the tool does. We back out of there, slide over, vehicle performance, VE calculator, and T-Darts. So the majority of the stuff you're going to use, of course, is in diagnostics and the emissions. We go back into diagnostics. If we wanted live data, of course, we got to select the control unit. So that would be data stream. So here's the complete list. You can edit the list. So we'll select ambient air temp. Confirm. Displays it there. If we hit the little nut icon to the right of it, change it to a graph. In fact, now we have a graph. If we want to expand that, we can hit the little arrows down to the bottom right. I'll expand it in a larger graph. If we want to generate a recording, we would hit record here. See it's recording. Press it to stop. Here's what it's going to save the video as. If you wanted a report for a customer, you could hit report. Hit confirm and it's going to generate a report. So if we back out of that, back out of the controller, we have service, body. In here we have battery monitoring system reset. We have reset for the maintenance lamp, chassis, braking, ABS, powertrain, reset of the cam. Back out of that, hot functions. There's that oil reset, throttle adaptation, BMS reset, ABS bleeding, out of that. You just have vehicle profile. If we go back to the main menu, and at the bottom here, if you hit me, down in the right-hand corner, you have data stream. This is those live recordings you did. Then you have that diagnostic report. So that's that report you can pull for the customer to show them this data. You can check for a list of vehicles that this program will cover. And then device manager. So in all reality, Pretty straightforward, you just basically gotta know where you need to go, what controller controls what. So some very interesting results here. Only about half of these can actually do all modules instead of just powertrain. So in my opinion, only five of these are worth really considering. So coming last, I'm gonna say Carista here. Yes, it's on the cheaper end, but you can do very little with it. Next would be the VP here, more than the ELM 327, but does the same thing. So honestly, yeah, no point in this one. Fixed, really kind of a gimmick in my opinion. And to get those additional features, you have to pay for that upgrade subscription. The base Advancer X tool here, just powertrain. So I think you're spending a lot for that. Same thing with the Black Tech 410, along with the OBD Link CX. Now the OBD Link MX, and Black Tech 430 can read all the modules, but I think there's better values out there versus these two. So my top five, coming in at the bottom there, the X-Tool Advancer 8020 Pro, 
Now this does read all modules, unlike the regular 8020, but it still can't do some of the functions like reset the oil counter and record data. Blue driver, on the other hand, can do everything except for activate some of the functions, but it is kind of pricey. While the Zurich can look at all the modules and do all those functions with an MSRP of $60. If you're looking for something real cheap though, that just does powertrain, the ELM 327 might be the option for you. But the clear winner in my book is Top Don's Top Scan Reader here. This is the only one we tested that can actually activate functions on the vehicle. So you can turn lights on, wipers, cutoff injectors, stuff like that. It's quite impressive what you can actually do with this dongle. Now, yes, you will have to download the background software for your vehicle. So in this case, I had to download the package for Ford, but it was free. Now it does retail for $80, but in most cases you can find it for $60 on Amazon. So let us know in the comments below if you have any of these and how they've worked for you. Again, I only test them on iOS, so it's hard to say how some of the applications will work on Android. But here's a master table here just for comparison. Again, I'm only gonna recommend five of them here with the top down, top scan tool here coming in at the top. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.